Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today's topic is creating a floating bar chart or a build-up chart. I feel like I've already done this, but I couldn't find the video in the archive, so I'm making another one. We have a product listed here. We have various market elements that are saying, you know, hey, something's happening, and so our market in that particular commodity is going up or down. Uh, we have a baseline identified. So what we're going to do, it's kind of a start off like you would a normal bar chart. You're going to bring over the market element and you're going to bring over the value. Well, what we want to do first is we see this baseline. We want that to be our starting point. So we're going to come under market element and we're going to sort. We're going to sort by, we're going to do manually. And we want to move the baseline to the front. Okay, okay, or close. Now we want this to build over time, you know. So what we'll do is we're going to change this value to a running total. Under quick table calculation, running total. All right, so this gets us more to where we want to be, the expected end. But we only want to show the difference associated with each of these categories. So that's where you're going to come over to the marks type of chart. You're going to change this to a Gantt chart. Now, these are all go to lines because we need to add something to size. And what we're going to add to size is the value. Now, the value is going um, up from the starting point. And so to change that so that it actually goes down, we're going to come and we're going to we can do it with double click or we can edit in shelf. And we're going to come over here, oops, edit in shelf. We're going to go to the front and we're going to put a negative so that the bars actually go down to zero. So it starts at zero. Now you could create a whole nother field or measure that has a negative but because you're only really needing it for this one instance, we're just going to edit in shelf. All right, so now this is what we were expecting. We've got a baseline. We have advertising that increases it. Celebrity endorsement increases it. Uh, price of fuel makes it go down. Social media makes it go up. And taxes make it go down. It's a little bit confusing. So what I like to do is create another field calculated field we're going to call this uh, change okay and so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so if we start off and we say ooh, that's a little bit too big huh if the market element is equal to the baseline because what we're going to use this for is we're going to use this to color these different bars then we're just going to have this equal to the baseline right Else if the sum, oops, sum value, oops, the value is less than zero. So if it's negative, then decrease. Else, we'll just say if everything else All right, so we'll expand this, and we got an error message. We can't mix um, aggregate and non-aggregate functions. So this sum is an aggregate function. So the trick is to make this an aggregate function as well. Now, if you have one element on this row, if you think about it, this is a row, a record, the max value on that record is going to be that same value. So on a record that has market element, the max is going to be just that market element. And the minimum is going to be that market element. And the average is going to be that market element. And the median is going to be, everything is going to be that value because there's only one value. This just tricks Tableau into thinking that everything is an aggregate and is good to go. All right, so we'll load change onto color. 
and I like to do decreases red, increases green, and I like to have the baseline as just, you know, here's our starting point. Now you can quickly see, oh, where the drivers are. Now the other thing that sometimes I do is under analysis, we're going to add a total for the rows. And now you have an ending value. So maybe you don't want this to say grand total. Maybe you want to say ending value. We can format that. And down here it says grand total. We'll just call this ending value. Hope that works for you. You can use it in a couple different situations. Enjoy, leave comments, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.